and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. It's been a while since I did this. It's been like over a month because my computer had troubles and my camera wasn't charged, but I'm back at it. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, as I just said. Don't know why I said that again. And in the last episode, we uh, finished off that cave. And now we're heading towards Heart Home City and finishing off the rest of these trainers. Um, see if we got any healing. We don't need to heal anything else, but we will switch... Monferno into the lead for now. So yeah, let's um Yeah, I'm not doing condos. Anyways, let's finish this off. Let's fight this trainer. Let's create a scene, a fantastic tableau of a battle. I don't know how that third word was pronounced, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna battle this trainer and see what he has. He's got Mime Jr., which is a pretty bad matchup for Monferno, but we're gonna fight it anyways. So, um, yeah, how have you guys been? Uh, can't wait myself for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or is it... Yeah, it's gotta be Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. And I don't know why people are saying, Oh, well, it's not guaranteed to be a Generation 3 remake. Well, it makes no sense if it's not. There'd be no reason for Kyogre and Groudon to be on the cover, and there'd be no reason for it to be nicknamed, or not nicknamed, but named after the Generation 3 game, so haters or doubters, sorry, but it's definitely going to be a Gen 3 remake. I am 99.9% .9 sure there's no other reason for it to be. So stop your, uh, doubtfulness, I guess you could say. Anyways. Right now it is about 7 o'clock at night, it's still daylight out because it's approaching the summertime, and yeah, Platinum, let's uh, the battle will surely become a stupendous masterpiece painting, I shall title it, my Pokemon is fight, alright, anyways, don't say a word, just take it, uh, on Keystone, I believe this is how you get Spiritomb, if not then I don't know what else it would be used for, anyways, then we have a tiny mushroom. Alright, I'm not going to do much else. These trees, if you slather the honey on them, you can find stuff like Munchlax and Heracross. So, yeah. But we're not going to use either of those in our Let's Play. Speaking of, I have gotten some suggestions, and you'll hear an annoying motorcyclist in the background. I have gotten suggestions from one friend in particular about who I should use on my team. Um, I might use some of the suggestions you picked, but not all of them. I want to, I want to, whoops, drop the penny. I want to try to use some other Pokemon I had in mind for this, but you'll see what I pick. Don't worry. It'll be creative, I guess. And I believe we already, um, talked to these fools. Now, last time we were here, a Baneri ran into us and some Heart Home Contest judge person want us to go to the contest hall. Unfortunately, it is mandatory to do that, or else you won't be able to fight the gym leader in this city. So, we're going to do that after I show you some tool bags who are blocking your way. You can't get through here, which if you go south of here, you get to Pastoria City that way. You can't go here because these tool bags are blocking the way. The contests are interesting, but the ruins of Silesian Town are as well. Okay, that has nothing to do with this. Sorry, the gate's closed for a while. We're on location for a TV shoot. Yeah, and your program sucks. Get out of my way. Anyways, uh, given my Pokemon lost to Poffins, I'm confident that we will win our share of contests. Well, good for you. We don't really care about contests. I travel a long way to take place in these contests. Okay. So, we're going to explore Heart Home City. This is not going to be the most thrilling episode. You're a trainer, aren't you? You've got two choices of challenges, either the gym or contest, right? Yeah. Now, if you go through here, uh, well, you can't actually go through here, but you didn't know they found an egg at the daycare in Silistian Town past here? Yes, there's a daycare in Silistian Town, which we will be needing later on. Did you know they find eggs in far off Johto region too? Okay. I have a professor friend, this is what he told me, if you leave a pair of Pokemon with the daycare, sometimes eggs are found, or things that are like eggs anyways. I wonder how the, my profess, how my pal, Professor Elm is doing these days. Interesting, because the generation, ugh, sorry. Interesting, because the generation, uh, 
two remakes of Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out right after this game. Well, not right after, but it was the next series of games in Pokemon to be um, released. And I guess that was a big hint that they were going to make a Heart Gold Soul Silver game or a Generation 2 remake. Anyways, when I take my baby out of his, his stroller, I see the town in a different way. I notice things like stairs and bumps and sidewalks. I don't really see how that makes sense, but okay. So let's just investigate these houses. Kind of pointless, but uh, I'm going to do it anyways. Why not? People all over the world follow a Pokemon contest. What should I do? I should I captivate the whole world. There are the contests. Then we have Amity Square. Our home gets visitors from all over, so things have to be nice and clean. Amity Square, I guess you could say, is also another hint about the Generation 2 remakes, because if I remember correctly, that's where you can walk with your Pokemon. Well, certain Pokemon. And you could in the Generation 2 remake games of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And I don't know why I say of, because it makes it sound like Heart Gold and Soul Silver are what they remade. No, it was actually Gold, Silver, and Crystal they remade. So we're upstairs, we took the elevator. I have something for your Pokemon. Take this Shell Bell. Shell Bell is an okay item. Your, the Pokemon holding it will recover HP when it deals damage to an opponent's move. The fairy, okay. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to move that. Uh, I'll probably be at the fourth gym by now, if not for my computer screwing up. So, awesome. Anyways, we're going to exit this house. I do kind of want to make this a 20 minute episode, but I don't know if it'll upload. That's the problem. I don't know if my um, computer will be nice enough to let it upload. Uh, hi, I'm, no, you may not. So, Baneri, and I don't know why we're, I'm talking to random Pokemon. See what this girl has to say. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, you're a Tarzan. It's very friendly to you. I can tell you treat it kindly. Of course I do. Hello, hello. How I say do you do? I am the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman. Indeed, yes I am. Hey, don't steal my word. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed Puffins to my Pokemon. Why I say would I do that? Because the giving off, the giving of poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give my sweet poffin, the Pokemon eat it would be more cute. Oh, this is about contests and stuff. Boring. I'm a, I'm in for the gym battles. Well, we got a poffin case, so if you're looking for a poffin case, there you go. You find it in this place. And I know I, I really don't like the music in this town. Sorry to say. Uh, let's go to the Pokemon Mart and talk to some strangers there. The item revives something I could use now, but I've got two gym badges, so I can't buy any yet. Yes, you can't buy revives until you have three gym badges, apparently. So this hiker has to beat the gym leader in this town, so yeah. Alright, no point in going into the Pokemon Center. We already visited... No, we didn't visit here, but I really don't want to. Um, this is your obligatory... Uh, Pokemon Tower? No. I don't know. Is this a Pokemon Tower? Or is this... Uh, this is, I believe, the... The, um... Burial site of Pokemon? I don't know. No, that's in the next town. What the hell am I talking about? Oh, this is a church. What the hell? What am I on? The... That people are lonely is only natural. It gives compassion. For so this is a church in a uh, Pokemon game. So that's pretty interesting. Or it looks like a church. And there do I see my father, my son, my wife. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Okay. And there's completely no music. So that's pretty much interesting. All right, uh, what does she have to say? So this is a church, not a funeral home or whatever I thought it was. Can't believe I botched that badly. All right, uh, did I already talk to you? Yes, yes you did. 
Uh, this guy will give you a trophy after you beat the Elite Four, I believe, so... Spoilers! Can't decide what accessory you should dress up Pokemon with. That's pointless. Um... I should... All right, let's go in this house. So, well now, you're a trainer. That makes you both Papa and Mama your Pokemon, you know? Uh, yeah, okay. Babies and Pokemon get along perfectly together. When babies take nap, Pokemon go to sleep right next to them. God damn, why do I keep moving the DS? When I grow up, I want to become a Pokemon coordinator. So you want to be like May from the Hoenn region. Or, yeah, I think that's... I don't know. Oh wow, you're a Pokemon trainer. Having lots of Pokemon around is lots of responsibility, but that also comes with a lot of fun. Ah, boo-hoo. So let's go upstairs on the elevator. Upstairs, there's no stairs. Don't know why I call it. Let's just go up to the next floor. Our home is a kid-friendly city, they say, but I disagree. Our home is friendly to kids, grown-ups, and Pokemon, too. So I'm at currently a host of being treated currently in turn, but how could that be a bad thing? Because you should be kind anyways. Like, you shouldn't ex- I don't know. Yeah, see? I don't know why I said upstairs. I guess I'll just say up elevator next time we go to one of these houses. I don't know, I might actually do a 20 minute episode. Yeah, I'll probably do one. No reason not to, really. Alright, um, this is the gym, as you can see, it's blocked. Uh, I put my verse seeker through its paces a lot. I battled this one intruding trainer over and over using it. She asked me, do you like me? Like, oops, ha ha ha! Hey there, how's it going, trainer? You being here tells me you're going to challenge the gym later. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. You're questioning why, and the answer is she's not here. Not to worry, though. We, we know she's at the contest hall. Come back another time, okay? I'll be waiting right here. No, you won't. You'll be waiting inside. I really don't like the contest hall. Boo. At the last hour, people unburden themselves of unbearable sorrow. You'll understand what I mean if you visit the Lost Tower on route, route 209, I think that's what it is. Here's the contest hall, but we're not going in there QUITE yet! Um... I went for a stroll, man, uh, uh, yeah, there's some rare feather that you can find in your Pokemon if you walk a lot. I lived in total seclusion up in the mountains for 30 years. I'm going to clean up some contests with a dance move I came up with. Okay. Good luck. Here's Amity Square. Yeah. Johto confirmed or Johto remake confirmed because I guess some smart aleck people said, oh, uh -huh. well, I knew the minute they did the Amity Square that our Gen 2 remakes would let you walk after Pokemon. Yeah, well, it's easy to say that now. But the thing about this place is, it's very, um, how you say, discriminatory. Like, certain Pokemon, you can, you're only allowed to walk with certain Pokemon. Uh, let's see. An anime square may go for a walk, may go for a scroll of a cute Pokemon. And I want to, and here we go. We're going to go for a scroll. Well, we get to walk for our Monferno, nothing else really. Or Pikachu, as you see here. Don't know why they're going to dictate which Pokemon we can walk with. That's kind of lame. Hey, TM45 attract. I am not going to use that. Why did I take that tube there? Wow. That was so pointless. Drifloon? Oh, okay. or, or Drifloon? I'm sorry. I forgot, did I even catch the Drifloon that I could find near the uh, Weather Institute or whatever that place is called? Secret power. Uh, it varies. I'm, you know, I don't know. Where, I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. 
I was gonna say it varies depending on what your surroundings are, but that could be nature power. I don't know. So let's go to the other side. Um, the round pebble, which is a fashion item. Awesome. No, I'm not going to talk to you. Uh, this is... No, it doesn't... Alright, um... I'm appalled! They refused entry to my Pokemon! My, oh, my poor Gyarados and Steelox! This is discrimination. This guy knows where it's at. It is discrimination, uh... Yeah. So you can basically take Eevee, I think you can take Eevee. It's either a starter Pokemon, Drifloon, uh, Jigglypuff, well, I don't, I don't remember all the Pokemon you can take, but yeah. Or Clefairy. But nothing else, really. Now, I don't know how to get that item, so we're gonna find out. What does this guy want? Sure, I'll have a thick mushroom. Hey look, it's a slurp up. Not really. It's a uh, happening. Speaking of happening, on route, um, on the next route, I need to look for something. So after I take care of the gym leader in my, in an um, impromptu battle that's coming up through the gate, we will, uh, have to go searching for that pesky Pokemon. And, ah, so, so that's how you do it. Yay, teleporters. I hate these things. Uh, I might end the episode off soon, and that's what I should do. Let me grab this item. I think this is the amulet coin. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode off soon, right after we check out what's over here. Sorry, this wasn't the most thrilling episode, but there's not much I can do about that. I don't know, there might be a hidden item, but I'm not gonna bother. Well, I just want to get out of here. Anyways! Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum! I want to see how we're going to get there, but... Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we will finish off exploring Hard Home City. We will bring the gym leader back to the gym, and we will start the gym. So, I'll see you next time, whenever I decide to record this. Bye.